As our course draws to a close, I wanted to just pause and say a few different final thoughts. And the first of those is thank you. I wanted to, to thank you for, for taking the course seriously and for, for trying hard and to work through our different content. I think that learning mathematics, particularly a course like this where we're trying to think rigorously and logically and symbolically, but also a little bit creatively, is quite challenging. That Developing the skill to be able to do that while important is something that requires a lot of mental focus, a lot of attention. I'm very broadly happy with our course and, and think that for the most part that you've been doing that very well, you've been taking the course content seriously, you've been trying at it and you've been working hard, and I really appreciate that. You know, I, I've been working quite a lot at this course, and, and I think I mentioned earlier on that, that this course, this online discrete math course, is the first time us at the University of Cincinnati, we've got many different online courses we've done before, and we've done this discrete math course, but this discrete math course for years, but this is sort of the first time we sort of put it all together into this one package. And uh, I think it was pretty decent. There's many things that you guys told me on the initial surveys that we're going to take into heart and, and change probably a little bit going forward, but... As guinea pigs, I think that you guys did a really good job and I really wanted to appreciate how much work and attention that you put into this course. The second thing I wanted to talk about is course evaluations. Now, course evaluations are things that reflect myself professionally. And, and I really care about course evaluations and I really hope that basically every one of you would fill them out. And I care about it for, for two rather different reasons. Uh, the first is that whenever I teach, I will always go and I will read the course evaluations and I will parse every single sentence and I will take them seriously because I am the teacher that I am today, good or bad, in part because I've changed how I've taught over the years because of my course evaluations. And I think they're really important, particularly in an online course where I don't get the sort of day-to-day -day feedback from you. When I have some sense validating the things that I'm doing well and hearing your concerns and thinking for the future and keeping the stuff that's working well and rejecting the stuff that's not, that's what helps me improve and helps us at University of Cincinnati improve and give you a better experience going forward. It's also the case that course evaluations are very important for me professionally. They're the main way that we're going to go and get promoted and that we're going to get reappointed. My boss and my boss's boss are going to reread them. They're a legitimate thing. So they're an appropriate place for students to give feedback that actually matters and will be heard, not just by me, but by levels above me here at the University of Cincinnati. So please go to evaluations.uc.edu, I'll leave a link down in the description, and fill out a course evaluation if you're part of this particular discrete math course. And then the final thing I want to talk about is I want you to think about big picture going on in the future. If there's something that I really hope that you've taken away from this course, it's not so much any particular detail of a particular proof style or particular particular mathematic concept, it's this idea that when you have a problem where you have to think through it logically, where you have to think through it rigorously and, and justify the steps that you're doing, that when you get a problem like that in your real life, that you lean into the problem and you don't sort of pull away from it and, and try to avoid it. I, I want you to have an attitude, an attitude that if you see this problem, that could benefit from, from rigorous and logical and symbolic and creative thinking, that you feel like you have the confidence and the attitude and the skill set to be able to jump in and start attacking that problem, whether it's set in the particular context of discrete math or something else in computer science or infor information technology or whatever it might be. You know, when, when I was uh, in an undergraduate, I began in computer science and I actually fell in love with mathematics. I, my PhD is in mathematics, not computer science. I fell in love with mathematics because of an introductory discrete math course, a little bit like that. This is where I first was exposed to thinking about things rigorously, improving things, and I personally really fell in love with that. And I hope that all of you who, who have gone through and watched these videos will take a little piece of that away and apply it in your lives as well. All right, it's been a fun semester. I will see you guys at the exam, at least some of you. I wish you absolutely the best of luck, both in the exam and going on in your future.